Dave Naidu has spent the Christmas break smothering the epidermis with the finest of gloop. And he joins us to soothe in the new year with his pick of the top Australian beauty brands for 2009. Good morning. That was funny. I'm every woman on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, happy um, Australia Day. Yes, and, and to you too, darling. You yeah. And you've oh, it's always two. Oh, always so two. I'm you no good know. at this double kissing rubbish. Yeah. Now, what have you got for us? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, back to work. <laughs> what I've done is six brands that I think that is going to move and shake the beauty industry this and year. And they're all Australian. Yeah? Coincidentally, they were all Australian. So if you want to reduce your carbon footprint, it's better to buy local. And what, ah. you, you didn't necessarily mean to make them all Australian? They just no, happened no, to be. No, no, because the, what, how, I, how I pick these brands is basically to see what are the brands from last year. So these are not really new brands. They've been around like for a year or so, so they're fairly new. So what I see is that, you know, whether the formulations are innovative, whether they're well packaged, or well researched, and actually they do what they're supposed to do, and whether they're value for money. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's how I picked them. What well, we speaking of good packaging. So Grown, which is actually by, done by two brothers, um, it took 10 Grown, years. G-R-O-A-N? Not that grown, as oh. in grow, grown. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Grown up. Yeah, grown up. That's exactly. So they took 10 years to do this formulation. I think it's seriously one of the most interestingly packaged products I've seen in quite some yeah, time. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Everything is ethically produced and all the ingredients are certified organic. So it's quite a wide range. I like all their facial products from cleansers to moisturizers and even their hand cream is actually quite good. Why is it, why is it uh, better, do you believe, that it's all 100% Organic. No, it's not, is it it's necessarily not, more effective? It's, it's see, buying organic, which we'll do a segment on that later in the year. Buying organic, at the end of the day, the products have to work. So it doesn't mean yeah. just because it's certified organic, it's going to be good. Yeah. At the end of the day, the product has to work. And for them, the formulation actually works. Okay, so, so not the, good enough just to have good ingredients, you've got to have the right mixture. Exactly. Right. Tammy Fanner, who actually um, founded this company called Avado, she uses avocado oil from her mom's farm in Tasmania, all right? So avocado oil is supposed to be very nourishing and very good and it's got a lot of good fatty, fatty acids inside it. And she's come up with this range. She started the range because of her kids, because the kids had really sensitive skin. Yeah, so avocado, sensitive skin. avocado oil is supposed to be very good for them. For that, so she's formulated this whole thing. She started with the kids range, and she's now got a certified organic full range for the adults to go buy. Good for her. That's yeah. great. So that's an excellent. So what, what, what yeah, is it? Well it's, a, it's it's a baby range. Moisturizer. Moisturizer shampoo. Bath she's shampoo. got a great baby sunscreen, um, and she's got pure avocado oil too in it. Pot Puraceuticals. Um, Alison Vicker. Sort of Pot Puraceuticals. Okay. I've heard of Cosmeceutical. So it's a play of words. Okay. okay. So Pot, who is actually started by Alison Vickery, the whole idea of Cosmeceuticals, it's basically pharmacy strength ingredients with cosmetics. So it's over-the-counter buying rather than you do prescription. Mm -hmm. The trick to her is that she has used certified organic products and natural ingredients rather than just using a lot of parabens and all. So all these brands don't have any nasties. Love All right, it. Love and it. it's it's very effective. It's a tight range. It's moving and shaking. That's good to know because uh, my skin can get really sensitive in summer with so, sunscreen. So that's it. With sunscreen, yeah. and we're doing a great mm. segment next week on sunscreen. So stay tuned. Beauty. Right. Milk. It's by Michael Klim, one of the most lauded athletes in Australia. This man has just not put his name to it. He's actually put blood, sweat, and tears into what it. What does that mean? What he's actively involved? He's in the actively of involved. The range? It's his money. It's he has been in the lab and stuff like that. Really? The shower Ooh. gel is great. The face scrub is excellent, and mm. the moisturizer nice is good. And it's good value for money too. Ooh. And I Great suppose smell. that being the swimmer that he was, spending all that time in chlorine, he'd probably know a bit about that's uh, right. So a lot of people think requires. that you know a lot of celebrities just put their name to it. This guy actually put his he's invested in it and he's been there formulating it. And I did hope just, it was moisturizer, but it's body. And you can the, the 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 moisturizer you can actually use on the head too. Yes, because he has no hair. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly <laughs> it. Speaking well, of that's... Australian climate and all that, we come to Hissy Fit. Uh, the name itself is very cute. It's actually couture sunscreen. It's What's that mean? The, what does that mean? It's, it's a very high-grade sunscreen because you know how sunscreens can tend to be greasy and tend to be, you know, gluggy and all that. What these girls is, Louise Dobson, who is the gold medalist for, Olympic gold medalist for hockey. Hockey, she's hockey, right? And Suze Matthews, who is the magazine editor. That's their brainchild. This has gone off. You know the guy you guys interviewed from Oprah, uh, Reggie? Yeah. He's the spokesperson for this range, too. And for him to actually endorse a product, it has to mean a lot. Because, I mean, it's good in summer because you don't want a face full of makeup. Yeah, exactly. But, so know. it's 
Primarily, it's a sunscreen, but it's actually a skincare sunscreen. Right. So you actually, it does benefit. It's got, one of the interesting ingredients in it, it's got Australian daisy, which is supposed to have, in indigenous cultures, it's supposed to have very healing properties. It's got very good cell renewal, and it's got a lot of anti-inflammatory. So that's, you know, so they've gone, the Australian guys have actually done the research. Mm. So they've just yeah. not gone and say, hey, formulate this for me. Mm. And very quickly? For, uh, very, very quickly. Original mineral, hair care. Hack has always been a mayhem for just nasty ingredients from your silicones, that your dimethicons and stuff like that. Australian company, they're the first company who actually did no ammonia permanent hair colour in the world. And they've come up with hair styling products with none of the nasties, your parabens, your sulfates, your TEA and all that. So they actually, because it's very hard for styling products not to have that. Yeah. So these yeah. guys have done that oh, good. and they've done really, really well. Just quickly, given yeah. the global economic mm. crisis, do we expect all of these products and the beauty products in general to, to lower their prices this yeah, year, do you think? No, it's not going to happen. Like, you know, as, as I always say, when prices go up, people are quick to put it up. When prices come down, they struggle to bring it down. Yes. Yeah. But that's why I say buy local and buy Australian so you reduce your carbon footprint. And also keep in mind that all these products are actually giving jobs to Australians. Beautiful. Right. All right. Okay. And Thanks, we are guys. also today giving you the chance to win some fabulous gift packs of beauty products from the fantastic brands at Dave has just shown us. There are five gift packs yeah. to give away, so jump onto our website for all of the details. And it's like from each of the seats, it's a huge gift pack. Oh, we love that. You're mm, good with like gift packs. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dave. All right, we'll head back to the party in Sydney in a minute, but first, here's some more from Marianne.